All right, welcome Forex traders. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're all doing well. All right, let me just kind of give you an update. And for those of you that are, are thinking of subscribing, again, I will give them two or three more updates for the week. And then uh, again, feel free to subscribe to the $9 risk free at any time and enjoy the potential profits and pips. All right, so New, New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen, currently up 303 on my last leg here. You can see. I did just put a stop in on my last leg right here, okay? Uh, basically, it's 76,195. The reason I've done that is this is really overextended, and it could certainly certainly come back at this point uh, because it's way above the, the Bollinger Band, and just it, this is quite an extension, folks, okay? But I, I still want to give it enough room that it could go higher. But if it does come back and snap, I don't want to lose profits, you know, all my profits on that last that last third of my my trade. So I'm going to keep it right right here. And we'll see if we can get some more movement over the next couple of days, up to maybe 78, which is certainly certainly something that can happen, folks. Okay. But here's all about risk management and letting the runners run. Yet, you know, not getting greedy. All right, the other active trade, British pound chef. I'm up 278 right now, 278 pips. So same thing here. Um, you know, gone up again today. I've hit profit target two here. I'm still going to keep my stop at this point though, right, right here at 129.711. Um, I do want to give this some more room. If this gets up to a dollar 32 or so in the next day, I'll probably move my stop up to that profit target two that we've hit. Okay, for my last third of my trade here. Again, because I don't want to give up all these profits, but I want to have this room to run. This thing is not overextended yet. It could certainly make it up to this this area right here, folks, right around a dollar thirty-two five seven nine. Okay, right about here, easily. So we'll we'll just let the profits run, folks. All right. So the Canadian dollar yen, as I told you yesterday, I put a stop loss at five pips to try to eliminate risk since we were doing so well on the other two. Right? It's about maximizing your your strategy and your and minimizing risk. So unfortunately, it did wick me out, even though this thing would be up another uh, 50 pips or so. It did you get me out at five pip gain. So again, um, that's just the way you can play those. If you are still in this trade, you know, protect yourself, put a stop and break even at this point, and, and see if we can get this running up. Again, I love this trade. I just wanted to protect profits since we're doing so well in the other two. You don't want to turn uh, you know, winning, pro winning trades into an equal loser. So again, I'm now flat on this trade with five pip gain, five pip gain. All right, I told you I'm looking for longs in British pound Aussie dollar. So again, a lot of sideways action here, folks, which I like to see. This could be a resumption of the uptrend, but I am waiting for my trigger. So no trigger yet. And British pound Kiwi, British pound New Zealand dollar, same thing here. I'll probably take one or the other on these. Um, but again, I'm not gonna take the long plan here until I get my trigger long. As again, we had another down day today. Some other things I'm looking at. Um, I am looking on US dollar, Swiss, US dollar chef to short. Not yet though, but just to kind of keep that on your watch list. And I, I am thinking this is close to a top with a seasonal short in play here. And um, just looking to, to get short as soon as I get a trigger. <clears throat> and Euro pound, I think we're close to a bottom here. Good seasonal long. So again, just waiting for my trigger, but from a seasonal aspect, this thing should start going higher. So keep Euro pound on your watch list. All right, folks. So again, currently up uh, almost 600 pips at this point. No risk. Fantastic way to trade. If you have any questions, let me know. Again, for you folks that are getting the free updates, feel free to click on the links below to subscribe to a 30-day $9 risk-free trial. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you. Take care now.